Most dropshippers have no clue how to do their taxes and they're super worried about it. And I think we should cover a bunch of things which you need to understand to make sure that all of the legal stuff is in place. Now, let's start out with the obvious. I am not an accountant. You should not base all of your legal knowledge on a YouTube video. So definitely get some professional help after actually making money, etc. Very first of all, I would say that that's the most important thing you generally need to know about taxes. That's by far the most important one. You shouldn't do them as a beginner. You need to earn your right to worry about taxes. Because in the beginning, don't make money, which means that nothing matters at all. If you made $50, nobody's gonna come after you. They don't care about you. So it's just very important to understand that you should only focus on making money. And then step two is how do you legally do all of your taxes, etc. But that's later. And also you need to understand that taxes are much easier and simpler than you expect. Rule number one is whenever you pay something, you need to get a receipt and store it in some folder. That's gonna make your life super easy. At some point when you actually start having to file your taxes, you will have to make sure that every single expense you have is done properly with a receipt. If you don't have that, it's gonna be very annoying and also you're not gonna be properly able to take the cost out of your profits. In general, I think most people know that, but generally how taxes work, you make your money, let's say you made 100K, and then you have costs in the business, which were let's say 40K, and then you have 60K in profit left. Those 60K, you need to tax. That's the money you need to tax. Usually in some cases you have to have like VAT and that's basically tax on the whole 100K, which is just like the revenue tax, but that's just for European people. Normally you have to pay taxes on profits. So you need to make sure that that profit on paper is as low as possible. That's just generally the rule. How do you do that? With cost. And you need to make sure that the cost is filed. The main problem is gonna be that most people are lazy and they're not gonna send you receipts. So for example, you pay your supplier and he doesn't send you like a proper receipt and that's it. This is gonna shoot yourself in the foot big time if you don't do this the right way. I have done this mistake and after a couple of years, I basically had to file all the taxes, etc. I texted the suppliers and there were nobody there because the supplier was dead. He was out of business. I don't know what happened to him, but he didn't ever respond to me ever again. I had a huge problem with reaching every single supplier I have ever paid because I didn't do that. It's very important to make sure that the receipts are there. Number two is ideally have one supplier because that's a very, very annoying cost thing where if you change like 25,000 suppliers all the time, it's going to be pretty annoying to file the taxes. And also if you use AliExpress, stop immediately and use something else. Get a private supplier. AliExpress invoices are the most annoying thing you're ever gonna see. So the other big thing is VAT tax. And that's basically really relevant in Europe and not as relevant in any part of the world else. If you live in Europe and you sell to Europe, you have to pay VAT tax, all right? So for example, in Germany, you have to pay 19% on top. Let's say you made 100K and you had 100K in cost. So you broke even on making 100K. You still have to pay $19,000 in VAT tax. That's very important to consider. If you sell to the EU, you must be profitable. Everything which is unprofitable is going to crush your business because you instantly are in debt. So just make sure that that's something you always consider because you need to understand that it's much more profitable on the same profit margins if you sell outside of the EU. If you sell to Europe versus US, you literally make the same exact money, but on one you have to pay VAT, on the other you don't. There are loopholes for all of this, I'm not gonna get into that, but it's possible to get around it if you if you really try to, and it's kind of expensive, but it's, it's possible. But anyways, that's just the foundation. The other thing you need to do is profit tracking in the end of the month. Every single month, you just have to have one sheet where you generally know how much you made, how much you lost, including fees, supplier costs, ad costs, things like VA costs. If you hire some person from the Philippines and just send them money, you think they're gonna send you a receipt? No. If you don't do that through like a specific platform, it's just not gonna happen. And in the end of the month, you calculate how much you made, how much you lost and everything. If you wanna get our profit tracking sheet, you can actually DM me on Instagram here and we're gonna send it your way. It's basically a sheet where you just insert your costs and it calculates everything completely automatically. Also, for every order you receive, you have to have some invoice as well. You can manage it with a bunch of different things. In Germany, we use Cevdesk. I've heard that in the US, QuickBooks is really good, but basically you have to find one for your country. After making your first like five to 10K, you have to have a proper accountant, all right? Just find somebody who's gonna be able to explain to you how everything works in your country specifically for you. And that's just a foundation. You need to understand that there's a bunch of accountants who are good and a bunch of accountants who are terrible. You will be made responsible for that. If you find an accountant who fucks up everything, you are going to be the person who pays the fines. Officially, the whole thing is just like he advises you and you still do the actions. So basically, really bad accountants can fuck everything up. 
The other thing is obviously also that you need an LLC or some sort of company, etc. That's very easy to set up. But the main thing is to have separate bank accounts for everything. It's very important to have one personal bank account where you just spend money for yourself and then another bank account, which is you spending money for the business. All right. You shouldn't mix that because in the end, when you have to file the taxes, it's going to be a mess to identify which cost was private and which cost were, was for the business. It's just annoying for, for you and the accountant and you shouldn't do that. So if you've done it so far, all right, fine. I it as well for a while but you need to cut that and make a new bank account and only start paying everything for the business from that account also you should pay yourself onto the private account let's say you made 50k everything is amazing you want to pay yourself and spend something from the 50k you should pay yourself whatever you want and put it onto the private bank account and then start spending. That's very important. And here again, keep in mind the taxes. If you made 50K, you made 25K in most countries. Just put away half for all the taxes and stuff like that, just to make sure that everything is clean and then you can start spending. Also, as general advice, I would not recommend paying yourself more than like 20, 25% of what you're making. So if you make 10K, you should be paying yourself too and basically have money liquid in your bank account so you can make investments. So yeah, that's just the basics you need to understand about accounting, but obviously you need to make money. So all the legal stuff out the way, you obviously need to make money. You're doing all of this to make more money. And the point here is the money making activities are way more important. And if you actually want to learn everything, which I know and my team knows about how to make money with dropshipping, you can click the link below and sign up for a call with us. And we're going to find out if we're a good fit for our mentoring program. And it's basically a program where we're just going to guide you through the entire process of either making your first profitable dropshipping business or scaling your existing one to the next level. So if you're interested, click the link below and I will talk to you soon.